welcome back to part three if you've not seen one and two please step back and take a look at those to see where, how we got here so I've got everything loose you can see the only thing I have left now to be able to remove this is this brake caliper now it's kind of a pain in the butt for the e-brake and it's loose but I have to remove the caliper itself to be able to get it off there there's the caliper right there. So I have to remove two bolts down here. And I'll be able to take it off there because I'm afraid I will end up stripping the bolts that hold on the uh, the brake cable and the, uh, the bolt that holds the brake line uh, that brings the fluid to it. So just trying to be extra careful with that so I don't end up screwing them up. Here we go. Note to self, if it's uh, messed up like I had here, you can just take out the bolt that holds this little e-brake lever on there. Take that bolt out and it just pops right off. And now I can get this free and pull it on out of there. Just a quick little side note. Continuing with part three, got a little more uh, primer done, got some paint done, and just got the seat in. Just uh, test fitting that before I go ahead and get the floor of this painted and finish sanding everything up. I got the rear end uh, portion sanded and got my first layer of paint on it, and let's keep going. All right, so I've sanded down the uh, the main spots that I could see with the bare eye. Went ahead and sprayed it with some primer. Um, as you can see, I'm not quite done. Uh, I wanted to make this piece black, so I just was doing a test spray here to see what you guys would think of that portion of it being black. And, and the rest is going to be regal red. I didn't get any comments on who wanted to help with the paint color, so I just found one that I liked, and that's what we're going with. But... Um, so I use the primer, I spray it so I can look and see how good of a job I did grinding. And then I look for spots like this. Let me see if I can get it to, yep. See that? I could not see that with my naked eye. Of course I do wear glasses. But spots like that. Now I can go ahead and sand that out and find any other issue spots that we need to attend to. So just a tip if you've not painted one of these before or painted something like that, uh, something I've always done. And then I kept the twister on here because I'm actually going to try and order the same sticker and I want to put it in the same spot. I will grind that off when I get the sticker and uh, we'll get that put on after I get it painted. Uh, still looking for a sticker if anybody knows where the factory one can be purchased. Uh, I did find another spot down here. Let me zoom it in. There we go. And then one over here. So it's a really good way to highlight uh, any of the spots you thought you had everything uh, sanded good. Dang it, come on, focus back, there we go. You thought everything, you had everything sanded good till you spray a little bit of primer on there and then it really shows uh, all the spots. And if you don't take those out and you just paint anyway, that's what the finished product's gonna look like. It's gonna look like garbage. So just a little tip, make sure you check all your spots after you've primered it and look for any of those uh, mistake areas that we can get cleaned up. So in other news, uh, got the new tires in. Gonna get rid of those and put those on. And then as you saw, I did get two of these seats. Um, looks like they may be a little wide at the base, but uh, I'm gonna see what I can do to uh, get those things to slide in there. I think they'll look really slick. And they'll be really easy to clean because you're gonna get mud and dirt and all that stuff on them. So I think that'll work out good. I did get another package just a minute ago. I have no idea what this is. Let's uh, throw it on the desk we just got for my wife because everybody's tired of sitting on couches and 
as you know, you got to get your home office stuff set up for everybody now instead of just one or two people. So, what do we got? What is it? Well, we got a box. Aha! So, this looks like... Yes. Okay, so this is the harness that I bought for the four-wheeler. Uh, it came with a spark plug, came with a new coil, and uh, a bunch of other electronic goodies. This should be the new CDI box because we weren't getting uh, spark on it, so I noticed that the, the CDI box just was pretty beat down. So I went ahead and ordered another one. Let's make sure we got the right one. Oh, that's not... Oh, that's the... Oh, they shipped the other part. Okay, so this coil... Let me get this apart here real quick. So when I ordered the uh, harness for my 150cc hammerhead twister, uh, the wire harness says it's for the 150cc. Well, it came with this almost exact coil, and it's the wrong one for that. The one I needed, which I ordered, that also came in the package, is this one. It has two prongs. So I got the right one for that. Here is the CDI module that I was talking about. Um, if this goes bad, you're not going to get any spark. So easiest way to do to uh, fix a spark problem is put in all new wiring, a new spark plug, and yes, I'm going overboard. But I also looked at the, I don't know if you can see it, but I looked at the magneto. My brother and I were farting around with this thing, and we noticed that the magneto, yeah, it's hidden, the magneto was uh, busted. One of the coils, there's a, a bar at the top that's coiled, and then the bar at the bottom is coiled, and it's got magnets on it. And the coils were busted. So Friday, I get a new one in to hopefully put these parts on the little turret over there. Um, I, I, mean, I got some tubes for those tires, so hopefully I can get that up and running and get that sold and out of the way, and then we can finish up this buggy. I'm going to keep plugging away on it. Uh, I promise you guys. It's ridiculously hot. I'm, I'm raining out of my forehead. And I'm inside, I was outside uh, doing the painting uh, portion of it. Crazy hot. I appreciate you guys watching my videos, taking time. Hopefully this inspires some of you. I saw one comment, uh, guy said that he has an old uh, mini bike sitting around, a little Vespa scooter. And this inspired him to get you know his old toy out and, and fix it up. So uh, that's why I do this stuff, is uh, hopefully somebody gets something out of it. I appreciate you guys. Hit that subscribe button somewhere around there. I'll see you on the next one. Take it easy.